Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is going to be a reading for the North Node in Scorpio. If your North Node is in Scorpio or in the 8th house, this reading is for you. It is general, just take what resonates and leave the rest. For those of you who are current subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and helping me grow my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yearwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like you along your ascension journey. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, the North Node is an aspect in our natal charts. It is an indicator of where we are meant to ascend to, um, or, the, or the energy at least, of what we're meant to do during this human experience. So there's also the South Node, which is 180 degrees opposite of the North Node. For you, your South Node is sitting in Taurus. The South Node is what you have done really well in past lives. Um, it is what is an eight, innately um, easy for you there's no training or teaching so the north node has a little bit more obstacles and challenges surrounding that energy it could feel unnatural it could feel unsafe um, just uncomfortable you know so the the goal or the objective is to really move towards that north node but not necessarily abandoning the energies of the south node it's balancing to and finding that perfect balance and dance between those energies so i'm starting with a few oracles from wisdom of the oracle we have clean it up. It's a 21, which is three. We reduce that down. Three is uh, collaboration, partnerships. Fork in the road. That's a four. Foundation, roots, stability. And, oh, soulmates. <laughs> I love this card. Soulmates, this is a five, which is big changes coming through. All right, interesting energy, Scorpio with clean it up, fork in the road, and soulmates. So with clean it up, um, and, and that being a three, again, collaborations, partnerships, maybe there are some partnerships, excuse me guys, I have al really bad allergies, so my nose is a little stuffed. Um, there could have been um, some collaborations, partnerships, friendships, alliances, all of the above, that are kind of muddying your aura. It's kind of, um, throwing you into a low vibrational frequency. Now, this doesn't have to be intentional, but again, it's maybe the people who you've always been around, who you've known for a long time. They are on, um, they're all on their own journey, right? They're all on their own timeline. And because of that, it's maybe getting in the way of what you are meant to be manifesting, what you're meant to be working on. So now there's this fork in the road. There's a choice between, okay, who do you spend time with? Who do you, um, you know, set up more boundaries around? Or who do you spend more time with? Last time with, more time with, and then there's soulmates here because maybe you believe that these people or person is a soulmate. You might be feeling a little bit guilty for having to um, separate yourself or to put like a little bit of um, restrictions around how much you share with these people or with this person. But I'm just getting intuitively, these aren't the meanings of the cards per se, but intuitively I'm getting that something is needed in terms of who you are around, who you are around, um, who you have built trust with. Um, there needs to be a little bit of, um, you know, care, careful and uh, a lot of discernment in terms of just how much you're sharing and just how much you trust. There's something um, underneath the surface here. And that doesn't surprise me because that is Scorpio energy. <laughs> Scorpio shadow energy. Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. He is the planet of the underworld. Okay, death and rebirth, um, transformation. So let's go ahead and get a few moonology cards. And your south node is Taurus, which rules the second house. It's ruled by Venus. Pretty much soulmate energy is there with that um, south node energy of Taurus. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Yeah, so look at the bigger picture. Don't just look at what's right in front of you in terms of your relationships or alliances. Look at, you know, kind of, you know, the collective um, viewpoint. Kind of give yourself a bird's eye view of what's going on. A fiery climax approaches. Interesting, full moon in Aries. And that's with fork in the road. So, you know, fiery climax, that's, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, like, Honestly, not that good of an outcome. I mean, I don't want to say a bad outcome, but I'm getting like, you know, you're going to go kicking and screaming or they're going to go kicking and screaming kind of an energy. But we'll see what the tarot says. 
it's time to release negativity. Absolutely. Here you are, full moon in Scorpio. And I was I was thinking that before I even like came on here and I, as I was shuffling the oracles, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get Scorpio energy in this reading, which means it's going to be loud. Whenever I get a card that is of the sign I'm reading for, I know that there's going to be a deep message. And Scorpio, you never, you never disappoint with the deep messages. So... Um, it's time to release the negativity and this is with soulmates and the fiery climax approaches. So yeah, there is like a toxic relationship or connection you have. Um, and that's what I was getting with the oracles. I just didn't want to say too much with just the oracles out. Um, but it's like many of you feel loyal to these people, um, or it could be people or a person to supply how it resonates. You, you know, you feel loyal. Um, you feel like maybe even obligated. You feel like maybe there you know there's history right maybe there you know it goes back like generations even like i'm getting like if it's like family or you know how sometimes people are best friends but like they're best friends because their parents were best friends kind of a thing um and it's just this person or people they're just negative they're not good for you right because their outlook their opinions um even how they live their life like it's just it's toxic for you they might not be toxic people just you know in general but for you and what you need to stay healthy and clear for your energy these people need to um be at you know arm's length they need to be kind of far away from you or you need to put boundaries in place so they are not infiltrating your energy as much all right, so let's go into the tarot. I'm going to use the True Heart Tarot deck for you all. Ace of Wands, new beginning, new passionate, creative beginning. This could be a new beginning in terms of like new friendship circles, new friend, new um, new collaborations, new um, yeah, new circles of people, really. You know, because it's coming out with clean it up and look at the bigger picture. And aces are always new beginnings. So this could even be a new way of you seeing yourself, right? Um, new identity with that Scorpio energy, transformation, rebirthing. Let's see what else. Five of, oh no, four of swords, excuse me, four of swords. It was in reverse, but I, I really don't take reversals on my channel. But the reverse energies is just like... Um, not having the time or space to recharge because four of swords is an intentional pause it's kind of like healing it's being introspective um it's just resting you know it could be meditating it's just spending time alone spending time to help you um clear your mind your thoughts and uh, swords is the intellect the mind the headspace fours again is that foundation and when i pulled it out it was in reverse pulled it out of the deck um so again it's maybe just you feeling that lack of stability or are you fearing that lack of connection or stability if you pull away from these people but the first oracle was clean it up okay so clean it up is just it's just that right it's kind of sweeping away the impurities from what is in your life queen of discs queen of pentacles this is your south node energy that taurus energy really being in a um High vibrational um, place of leadership, being resourceful, being comfortable, being, um, you know, secure. I think that Taurus energy is all about security because Venus is rules Taurus and it's, you know, money, right? It's your, your home life. It's your comfort as well and your security and your stability. So with that four of swords, which came out reverse, it's like what's at stake here is that um, queen of Pentacles energy, right? Feeling secure and stable and grounded and rooted. These people might destabilize you a little bit. They may kind of like disrupt your energy. They might be coming to you complaining about things going on in their life, kind of draining you, um, taking your energy from you for things that you need to be pouring in to make your life better. But again, you're like showing up as a good friend or, or a good whatever, a good sibling. It could, you know, whatever the relationship is. And this person is just, you know, draining you or just being toxic this could just be like an energetic thing too it doesn't necessarily have to be like them physically doing anything to you but it's like yeah the are they're, they're coming with now we have nine of discs nine of pentacles so this kind of speaks more to that cell phone energy of yours that taurus earth energy nine of pentacles is total of independence um being um totally fulfilled it's also wish fulfillment but as it relates to you so if you set out for a goal if you went to apply for a job getting that job getting the um, salary, the pay rate that you want, and feeling like it's enough to feel secure. Now, what's interesting is it's coming out with fork in the road and fiery climax. So this is like, are you going to choose maybe between like being connected with others and not being in that queen of pentacles and nine of pentacles energy, or are you going to choose yourself? Or are you going to choose to, um, 
you know, live abundantly and do what's best for you. And, you know, not to say that you're totally abandoning people, but how are you going to really make yourself a priority? I think that's the easiest way to say it, Scorpio. Now we have the Hermit card, card of Virgo. Two Virgo energies here, because Nine of Pentacles actually is Virgo energy. Technically, it's Virgo energy, um, which is a sister Earth sign to Taurus, your South node. Um, but with Virgo, again, healing, um, being introspective. Um, that actually flipped out reverse as well um, when I pulled it out from the deck. So, um, which was also like, but the Four of Swords, I was trying to remember. Yeah, the Four of Swords, I pulled out reverse. So again, Hermit reverse, not feeling like you can get the time to be reflective. I'm getting like just this weird energy of like people interrupting you. It's kind of like you want to do things where, you know, you're just kind of in your own energy. Maybe you want to spend time alone, but people just keep calling you or texting you. Or if some of you have roommates, maybe they like are just always kind of disrupting you. Even if you say like, I'm going to like just, you know, get some work done or I'm going to do this. It's like they're kind of like interrupting you just to interrupt you. It's nothing important. And so like it's throwing you off. It's just kind of like, like I said, taking your energy. Um, yeah, it's just a weird vibe going on with these people, this person. Absolutely. Here it is. <laughs> Maybe this is what I was feeling. Ten of Swords, like betrayal, backstabbing. Um, these people or a person isn't really true to you. Um, now, good thing here is tens are completion. And this could be you finally walking away, right? Because with this fork in the road, fiery climax, maybe there is something like, you know, straw broke the camel's back kind of a thing where it's like you do choose you, you do choose to um, stop being so readily available for people who maybe, maybe are never available for you or are they doing, all they are doing, like I mentioned before, is siphoning your energy, um, not really, you know, holding you in high esteem, inspiring you, uh, motivating you. They're kind of just coming to you with these like complaints or talking about other people and it's like you really don't even care. Um, so with this Ten of Swords energy, maybe this is like could be a lot of different things you guys it is general maybe this is like they do something um, that's deceitful to you like um betrays you or you know kind of like um talking behind your back kind of a thing or just being um yeah being deceitful being dishonest uh, betraying you in some way and that maybe is what prompts you to choose yourself because you find out about the deception yep nine of cups choosing yourself you have Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups on the on the spread here. Coming out with this time to release energy and soulmates. So beautiful energy. I love it, Scorpio. Nine of Cups is Piscean energy. It's Jupiter and Pisces, which I think Jupiter, as of the date I'm recording this video, is in Pisces. This is May 16th. Jupiter has transited into Pisces. So fulfillment uh, within yourself, choosing yourself, knowing your self-worth. This is healing. You have the Hermit card here. Even though it was in reverse when I pulled it, still, it's getting that time to... Focus on you, build you up, restore your energy, um, be well rested, you know, to clear your mind, um, not engaging in any type of like, you know, low vibrational conversations with people, even like the type of music you're listening to, just what you're taking in, you know, you, you're being more mindful, you're being more respectful to yourself and releasing that negativity, um, going towards what you now know to be a soulmate, like, again, like, um, sorry, I'm kind of tripping over my words here, um, revitalizing or transforming your idea of a soulmate so this is a scorpio energy you have north node in scorpio so it's like you have the energy of knowing to like having to heal others or heal relationships or situations and scorpio is very intuitive very spiritual um very psychic you know so some of you might have other placements in scorpio or have other psychic placements in your chart so this is again maybe stepping into into that a little bit more um knowing how to use that to bring more prosperity and security into your life south node energy of taurus right and be more um practical i guess with it more practical and yeah just kind of like using your own intuition knowing you knowing what's best for you um yeah hang the man more piscean energy okay so but it's a little bit of a pause so this could be a pause after pulling away from toxic situations um, and taking that time out to heal, taking that time out to get the divine downloads and messages from spirit, really trusting, walking by faith um, versus sight kind of an energy as well. I love this image here because you can see the light kind of going into this person's uh, crown chakra here. So they're just being enlightened and that could be where you are now. 
or where you're moving towards, which is beautiful. And Prince of Cups, yeah, an offer. You know, when I was saying that you now are transforming what your idea of a soulmate is, that could be coming, he or she could be coming towards you and, you know, offering their love to you. It doesn't have to be romantic, but just offering their kindness, um, their friendship, their their companionship to you. And it, you know, it could be romantic as well, but, you know, I'm getting this energy is just kind of more soft and it's it feels good. Whereas like these other people, a person, it was just always so cold or always so like, just something's always going on. Like you always gotta have, you always have to be like in this energy of like complaining or not being happy. And this person coming towards you with this, you know, this cup, this new cup is kind of like security and, you know, security in terms of your emotions because cups do represent emotions and, um, you know, getting, giving you a space. Like, you know, this person's gonna like hold space for you. That's what I'm getting, right? Not necessarily coming to you towards you with things, but like, a capacity to understand you and to really be um, about you. And I love that. I love that for you, Scorpio. So let's get a few angel answers for your reading. <clears throat> Ask your angels. Yeah. So divine downloads, guidance coming through. Remain positive. Yep. Remain positive as you release that negativity. So you realize what's best for you and peaceful resolution. I love it peaceful resolution, you know, resolving what's best for you. Okay. And not getting sucked back into anything that throws you off. All right, Scorpio, I hope that this resonates or at least a part of it. If it does like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I have my website linked below. You can go there to, to find um, how to book a personal reading. And like I said, I do offer those R analysis with my readings so we can pinpoint specifically what could be blocking you and go from there in terms of how to um, patch up the holes in your aura. Okay. So I hope to see you guys in the next reading. I love you so much and be sure to thrive. Bye.